Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, and that is my collection of Vivid Intense Colors and Primary Elements and Prism Pores also. But I'm going to use this 16 by 20 inch canvas today at Expressionist Fluid Arts Studio to use my toothy tool and then potentially share with you something that I discovered. So I'm going to spread a layer of Artist Loft white paint on my canvas. And I'd like to have enough to move paint, but not enough to swallow paint. I don't know if that makes any sense. This is my OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatula. Best paint spreading tool I know of. I'm going to try and just be creative with my designs. I don't know that I'm going to layer anything over anything else. I'm not sure how this is going to proceed because I have decided to take the knowledge that I just gained in a almost fail when I made it succeed but forgot to record the damn movie, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I thought I recorded it but when I went to say goodbye the camera f turned itself off so I know that the 20 minute time limit on the photograph I had taken at the end of the other movie told me I hadn't made a recording. Alright, so I'm just going to do something of a rainbow effect I guess. And the reason I'm doing this not on top of a puddle is because I found out that I like the, the marks. This is my first favorite. This is a lizard and rose. And this time I'm just going to draw. This is intense, uh, vivid intense quinacridone red. Take the little tab out. Shouldn't worry about shutting them since I'm going to use them again. This is vermilion red orange. All these are vivid intense. This is the paroli orange. Flip that around, see how I'm feeling about it. them. This is the Hansa Yellow. This may turn out to be a completely different animal. This is Deep Violet. being hard to deal with, not squeezing out like it should. I've got a multiple, I've got a mix that I used frosted as a base to put vivid intense in. Frosted is a primary element. Excuse me, is a prison pour. So this one's going to have a little bit of shimmer. I've got some white. I'm kind of inclined to use some dots. I think what I'm going to do is give myself permission to use some of this uh, phthalo turquoise. I'm not crossing any colors over yet. I have some tempting tulip that I really like. That's a primary element. And that will have a little bit of shimmer. So that's kind of cool. I don't want to do anything to it. 
figures, doesn't it? Maybe I shouldn't. What else have I got? Why don't we just keep using the colors and not worry about anything? I've got ultramarine blue. And then if something occurs to me, I'll do something with it. Open sesame. There we go. Do I dare? kind of like that. It makes a few things pop. Seeing some dendrites and I kind of like them. Sorry about my head. What else? What else? What else? Back to the, the phyllo turquoise, which seems to have a little tab on its top. It needs to go away. I kind of want to use my black. I have some, but I'm nervous about it. I could use my gold. I could definitely still toothy tool this. Well, why don't I wait on that? Wait on the black. And let's toothy tool it. And then if I don't like it, <laughs> I can do something else entirely. Get the extra water off of there. Do I have a tool I would prefer? I think I would probably prefer the long... I've taken all of the rows, there's four rows. I've taken away three, I've left one, and then I've removed everything in between. And in order to have this work well, I have to go from one into the other. That was me just using the residuals. I like squeezing the tines together. And I like dragging the colors into the white. I might even like dragging them across each other. Yeah, I might like that a lot. been a long time since I did this and I realize I'm being quiet because I'm having fun and I'm focused and I might still tip this not that I think there's much to tip but if that doesn't work out I will share that secret I just discovered that has more to do with my toothy tool excuse me more to do with my yes <laughs> come on brain what to do with my, uh... wow, <sighs> complete brain cramp. Here, I'll show you. These, we'll see what happens. My acetate tools, wow. Yeah, it happens. But I am having an awfully good time doing what I'm doing, so that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it.
I didn't think I was going to like crossing it over so much, but I really do. I had to be careful. There's probably a limit how many times you can do that and get away with it and have it look good. I'd rather not discover it at this exact moment. Still liking the crossovers. Wondering what's going to happen if I tip and if I have enough time to do anything. You think it's going to move? Nope, not going to move. I'm going to use some Decor 24 karat gold. And that's kind of cool, actually. But it's not going to keep me from doing what I'm thinking about doing. I'm going to use some black cell activator and probably some white. And in this case, I'm going to use some purple, too. I've got Boom Gel, and I've got a coupon code for Pixel Paint Designs for 10% off underneath the video, along with the color or coupon code. this looks half as cool as it did the last time I did it, I should be fine. That is Boom Gel Pearlescent Teal. this time. I'm going to use the purple with the teal. Actually, I'm going to put some white on there too. I like to use the edge of the tool. I'm going to take a chance and wipe that off right there. I didn't get as many cells as I was anticipating, but I can always do it again. And I do like what the black looks like on its own, so that's Not a problem. Use my extra paint. It's a party. I've got no time. Particularly. I'm going to use both the teal and the violet pearlescent boom gel. I've got three minutes left. That was a heavy, that was a loaded, to, loaded acetate tool. I'm kind of liking that. Kind of wonder while I'm here. I 
can throw a few spirals in there. I'm kind of using the gold as a as a guide. This one's kind of mucky. Where's my clean one? Throw that one in the bucket. Call it good. I'm going to try something I didn't try, and I'm going to try the the jasmine primary element. I take my extra paint and use it also. So I did a canvas similar like this to this before this. I explained at the beginning, but I just forgotten to record it. So I'm glad I could do something sort of similar, even if it's not identical. I do like the black and white better together. Also definitely like, oh, I just carved right down the canvas, that's okay. I'll go back in and smooth it over. Acetate tools to the rescue. That's kind of cool. I'm almost done. I think I'm going to do some purple over here. I might try it with the gold. Yep, I don't mind that. Oh, that looks like a big dragon. With his tongue coming out. Kind of a fugly dragon. I'll just give him some whiskers. I've got one minute left. To tell you guys, if you sell my artwork, if you give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Check my link tree for pixels.com, find it in America. My Society6, my The Gallerist, my Facebook group. I'm going to grab a little bit of each of that. I like how these mix together. Tell you guys I love you. I hope you come again. Please don't forget the thumbs up. Did I ask twice? Thank you for sharing your, your thoughts and your comments. Keep my morale boosted and I really appreciate that. What am I forgetting? Everything. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. If you want to get in touch with me, I have 30 lists of 100 videos, and I'm going to try and zoom in for you. I might fix a little something something over here on the edge. But otherwise, i got to say, I'm going to torch briefly. I might add a few spirals, but otherwise, that's some dramatic stuff, and it was fun to do, and I recommend it. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Don't forget I give lessons at the house in Springville, Florida, and I do sell my artwork if I mention that.